Alright, so in this chapter, we're just going to go through some basic UI interfaces and man model manipulation. So first things first, let's bring in a model. So if you click on this drop down menu and select open. So the model that I will be using for this tutorial is the uh, a eagle skull that I found on my thing uh, my what is it uh, what's that website called my mini factory and it is a 3d scan and uh, I've just gone through and did a little bit of a cleanup and hollowed out the main cavity areas so let's load that in so here is the model and let me just credit the model to Virtual Curation Lab, uh, which is the scanner, and the uh, Virginia Museum of Nat Natural History for the actual uh, object that was scanned. And the download link for the model will be up here. So it's a pretty cool model and I think it's going to show off the, uh, the new uh, supports and also the, uh, the printing, um, the photon printer. Got, got some nice uh, thin parts and overhangs. So here is the model. I've just spent maybe uh, an hour or so cleaning up the model so it's optimized for SLA printing. And... Um, the part is hollowed on the bottom here already with vents. So to navigate around, uh, I am right clicking to rotate, left clicking uh, to pan, and then mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Obviously if you're using different operating systems, then it might be different. So once you've loaded the model in, you've got your transform, your rotate, your scale, Your mirroring. It's all pa pretty basic stuff. One thing to be aware of is that uh, trans transforming the model, there is no widget, no gizmo on the screen. You just simply drag on the model and then drag it around. Or you can manually input in the values on here. So these are quite handy. Put on the plate centered now rotation you do have a gizmo for this so if you double click on the model it will bring up the rotation gizmo and you can see if I go uh, outside of the build area uh, it will give you a warning here as well which is nice and handy And the reset button also works quite well. Flatten my face. So this is quite a new. This is a new feature. So if you tick the Xbox and then select a point on the model, it will use that mod, uh, It will use that point on the model as uh, the bottom face. So very handy. So say you had a flat part which is rotated the wrong way. You wanted it to be flat on the base. Then you just select that face and it will rotate it so that face is touching the build plate. In this case, I'm going to reset it back to what I had. Scaling. Nothing special there. And duplication. So once again, there are a ton of other new features in the new cheater box which I'm not going to cover today. So when you download it, read the manual and have a play around. Um, Alright, so... Some other handy little features. We do have a slice view now, which is really good for checking, um, checking the model. So you can see here, uh, the model is hollow with a 2mm thick 
we have a transparent mode which is great for checking support and that's about it, it for the general UI so let's move on to the next chapter